last time that there was a huge rainstorm like there was a couple days ago. Found some antlers out here. That just fell. Gotta be careful. Uh, so we're looking again. See if we can find anything neat. You can see this is kind of like the ditch where all the runoff from the rain comes. Pretty deep. All right, I'm gonna have a look around and I will be back. Well, no luck this time, but that's okay. I actually came through here on Friday with my new job and this was flooding pretty bad here. Uh, there was a rock slide in front of us, so we couldn't continue. Um, so I'm happy to come back out here and see if I can find anything, but uh, nothing this time, so no big deal. That's the back way to where everyone's at right now. This is the way we're going. So I quit my job, which you probably already know if you watched the first five seconds and read the title. Uh, now you know where I used to work. So let's start making a snack and we'll talk about it. If I hit my knees on that so many times last week. You can just kind of go there. And obviously everything flew off the bed, so oopsies. You'll be glad to know that I actually wiped this thing down, kind of. There's some stains, but it's not as bad as it was. Uh, we're not spending the night, so we don't need coffee. I'll need the bread. So here's what we got going. We're gonna make a Reese's, a grilled Reese's sandwich, essentially. I don't have Reese's, okay. Uh, I have peanut butter, like natural peanut butter, and I have chocolate syrup. That's gonna be good enough, because like actually grilling Reese's would be a disaster, and they're made of kind of shitty ingredients. Inferior peanut butter, inferior chocolate. This is gonna be a little bit better for you anyway. Chocolate syrup. Some peanut butter. Um, not necessarily endorsing the brand. That's just what I could find. Uh, we'll need those. We'll need some butter. Um, that's for later. And then we are going to have us a little celebration in a little bit. Uh, we have us some peanut butter here, a few, you know, spoonfuls worth. This is too much, but I'm going to eat a little bit just by itself. And then we just add some chocolate syrup. Pretty decent amount. Like that-ish. And this is cold, so it's going to be difficult. I just add a little bit more chocolate syrup. All right, let's see. Mmm. That's perfect. Ouch. I need to get one of those, like, trigger ones, but I'm too lazy to go to the store. I have a bread-sized thing of butter here. We're just gonna toast that really nicely. Nice and toasty, we take it off. Another piece of butter. Our other piece of bread. And while that's toasting, we put this on our toasted side here, which is gonna be kind of a pain in the ass, but that's all right. And then this, we're just free to eat. It tastes amazing, it tastes like Reese's. Beautiful. Slap another tiny piece of butter in there. And then, we do each side. All right, last side. This is also where we ran into a bear. You didn't get to see it on camera, but it was up there in that kind of like valley. Uh, I know he lives here. I don't see any sign of him still being here, but we're just gonna play it safe. And I'm gonna keep an eye on kind of the surrounding area around me so that we don't, you know, attract a bear. Let's see what we got. And there we go, a grilled Reese's sandwich. Uh, but before we eat that, and before we start talking about my former employer, cheers to not working for Hobby Lobby anymore and starting something new and blazing a new trail. All right, so let's give this sandwich a little try. 
And this works with peanut butter and jelly too. Oh my god, you've got to try a grilled peanut butter and jelly. It's fantastic. Mmm. That is amazing. I'm going to finish this because that makes me not able to talk. Then we'll talk Hobby Lobby. So Jess, why did you quit Hobby Lobby? Well, I've actually wanted to quit for quite some time, since about 2016. I loved the work that I did, I loved the people I worked with, I loved the customers, and then a couple months later things took a turn for the worse. Our manager probably was going to get fired, but he walked out. A lot of people quit, including my original crew that trained me. Uh, we got a new manager, and we all gave him a chance, and he kind of took that chance and ran. You're going to do it my way or the highway type of a deal. And there was really no room for individuality and saying like, well, I mean, I do it faster this way. It was, no, you're doing it my way. So that was, eh. Um, I had kidney stones that year also, so that really, really dug into it. That was the year that I became the frame shop manager at Hobby Lobby, um, right before the kidney stones. And I was still doing 80 to 100% of the orders until 2020 when I've got two brand new employees and they were fantastic and that's like the first two employees that I've actually trusted and so I was able to go on vacation later that year no issue I came back it was a little bit behind but they did work and I was so grateful for that uh, but anyway I decided no it's time for a new job and at the beginning of the year I said no we are going to get a new job this year um, one of my former co-workers who was a car guy He's owned like 50 cars in his life um, and would sell them every few weeks. Said, hey, I got a job at this new place. I don't know if I want to disclose what it is or not yet. Uh, and it's driving and it's f***ing amazing and you should try. And then a couple of weeks later, they posted another three positions. Um, I was one of the ones that was chosen for that. And so I am loving it. definitely still around because look in comparison to my foot it's about this big but I'm gonna go try to find this elk because that would be sick after seeing all those deer but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it because I think he's up there that is really fresh so we're gonna have our hand on our gun the whole time your eyes and your ears and your nose because if there's a bear coming you will smell them unless you're upwind but I'm too dehydrated and I'm getting a headache so we're not gonna do that uh, there's no way I'd make it up there and I didn't bring a water so we're just gonna turn around we're not gonna find us an elk or anything if you're asking me well Jess what does a bear smell like it's kind of a combination of cow manure and something dead, I guess. It smells really bad. So if you're in the forest and you go from smelling pine or smelling nothing to smelling something like it died or like it took a massive dump or it just smells really, really bad all of a sudden, you need to stop and you need to look around. And hopefully you have a uh, pew pew on you at the time just in case they'll usually run from you but if it's a particularly bad year drought or you know something like that they will attack you the one that I came across last time ran away because I yelled out but if I get a chance to see a bear with you guys I'm not gonna pass that up this is elk uh, droppings deer droppings are kind of like round-ish elk droppings look more like round ones that have been kind of stepped on so they're kind of flatter bear droppings look kind of like miniature cow patties i guess you could say okay we're back um if you were hunting deer or elk you'd be looking for some sign obviously footprints are great but you also want to look for scat or droppings um you want them to be fresh and so if they're really really old they will appear dried up and cracked 
um, if they're somewhat fresh, they won't appear that way. But when you kind of break them apart with your foot, they'll be really dry inside. And then you have like really, really fresh, which is like pliable under your feet. Uh, and that goes the same for deer and elk and bear. That second bear dropping that we found that broke apart really, really easily was probably from like today. And so the bear is probably off up there eating berries or some uh, and so we don't have to worry about them, but I just wanted to be really, really careful um, because I don't want to get into a situation I can't get myself out of. It would have been really nice to show you guys a bear live, but whatever. I'm hungry and I need to eat anyway because this is how we kind of overcome the hangover. So we're going to open up the back of the Suburban and start cooking. Now, having a big breakfast is pretty like commonplace for drunks to get over their hangover. And... Uh, I'm just here to explain why. Uh, the way alcohol works is it's an inflammatory agent. Uh, it's really, really sugary. Sugar's an inflammatory agent. Red meat is anti-inflammatory, and so it will undo a lot of the effects of your hangover. And hence, steak and eggs, because I can't just eat steak. I mean, I gotta have something with it. And all I had in the house was eggs. Um, this is starting to pop, so let's get cooking. I'm just gonna use my same dirty pan And we want to leave this in here because that's all that good flavor. And then in the plate we go. In other news, we are still doing the thousand sub giveaway. Um, it's been a while since I've talked about it, but if you can guess my favorite band, then, well, we're going to have a giveaway. I don't know what it is yet. Um, I was thinking a print of mine, which is going to be what's on your screen now. But maybe that's not what you're interested in. So if you have a better idea for a giveaway than my photo prints, please let me know down below. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. The way it works is if somebody can guess what my favorite band is before we get to a thousand subs, you win. Uh, you win the giveaway, you get the prize. And keep guessing. I will try to answer you in comments, and if I can't, I'm sorry. I'm just... With a new job, I'm really, really busy, so I don't know how I'm going to be able to, like, tackle YouTube comments. Alright, well, it's time to get the hell out of here. Let's not forget to put our hitch back. That's about all I got for you. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if there's any way that I can improve my videos when I come camping, please let me know. And I'm not looking for like technical advice, like I'll oh, use the roll of thirds and shit like that. I'm looking for more like, hey, I want to see you go through more trails, or I would like to see more of the drive there, or be more in depth with your cooking, or something like that. You know, you get the idea. But anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoy the video. I'll try to get back on a regular weekly schedule now that I'm kind of getting used to the new job. As usual, you be good while I'm gone. I will see you next time. Have a good week.